What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the engineer and answer the question, is it worth? Well, let me give you the TLDW right now. The defenses from the engineer are all completely badass and the engineer is well worth just from the defenses alone. Now in this video, we wanna showcase and talk about the engineer's abilities and how you would want to play him a little bit. Now I don't have a fine tuned engineer here. I've got one that's kind of thrown together and I personally focused on ability power. Of course, your two choices are ability power or hero damage. Uh, ability power, of course, is gonna be focused more on the engineer's abilities and hero damage will be focused more on the primary attacks. The strongest primary attack that the Engineer has, as far as hero damage is concerned, is without a doubt the alt fire. Um, it is an AoE drill that just dishes out massive amounts of pain. Uh, I have got zero hero damage on this character, and just showing you what you can get with absolutely nothing. So, with zero hero damage at all, I mean, you're still going to be dishing out in the millions of DPS. So by putting together a set, you can get this well into the 100 million mark. If you enjoy melee play or uh, playing on, say, like the Barbarian, you may really, really enjoy the Engineer's hero damage build. Now, additionally, if you tap that alternate fire, it's going to shoot that uh, arm out and do damage both ways as it goes in and out. That as well is quite a bit of damage. So you do get some ranged attack besides just the primary fire along with the engineer now taking a look at the engineer's abilities now the engineer's four abilities are the bunker buster a fast moving rocket that explodes the drill smash this is going to be your big nuke for the engineer uh, slams his drill into the ground sending earth and spikes forward in a line that damage enemies we've got the orbital cannon which has got a massive amount of cool factor it's kind of like a rain of fire type thing and then, of course, everything you do on the Engineer is going to build heat, so you've got Steam Blast, which is going to blow that heat off once you get full. Now, with just kind of a thrown-together set, this is definitely not anywhere near fine-tuned. Uh, additionally, it's all Chaos 9 gear. Um, actually, I got the one Chaos 10 uh, uh, weapon here. However, I don't have any fine-tuned mods. Now, I did go through and collect all of the engineer specific shards. Um, I was able to guild that one like satellite strike. Uh, we got advanced rocketry. We got incendiary rocket, uh, EMP shells, focused lens, uh, and then seismic tremors. So the engineer does have quite a few shards available for use. Uh, which ones are best in slot yet? I haven't done enough testing. What I've done is just thrown everything on here. And then, as I mentioned, this is kind of a mix and match set. You see, I've got Robust on all these. Uh, this was an old Mystic set that I used to have. Uh, this chest, that normal AP chip is absolute junk. Um, so, and then the ability the chip, of course, is very low value as well. Uh, so I've got some Junker mods on here. And then on the weapon, all I've got is focused AP. Um, additionally, I don't really have proper shards for the weapon itself, I just threw a Life Leech, a Burning Strikes, and a Venomous Strikes in here. Now with that in mind, just with the stuff I have, uh, I'm able to get a nice little bit of ability power jacked up. Uh, going with a Dragalich here, and then a Ring of Time. The Ring of Time, of course, is going to lower the cooldown of your abilities and increase your ability power by 10%. Now, um, taking a look at the Engineer's abilities, let's start off with No Heat over here. You can easily sustain well over 100 million DPS just with a thrown together set like this, just by spamming the Engineer's abilities. So let's go ahead and check them all out. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, dropping the bomb and then Drago, and then we'll just spray them out. And as the cooldowns come up, we will use that specific ability. And you're going to see we put out a nice bit of damage just with those things. Now, you would want to time your uh, Drill Smash so it is the last thing you use. Um, with it being the last thing you use, of course, the heat is going to be the highest, and the higher the Engineer's heat, the more damage output the Engineer is going to do. So you would want to time your big abilities along with your heat being at the highest possible generation. 
while still getting the benefit of that focused ability chip. But you see just spamming the abilities here, I am uh, very easily able to stay above 100 million DPS, and I'm hoping that there's going to be some fine tuning with the engineer to make the abilities a little bit easier to use. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, IDHC did uh, message or leave a comment on my launch day live stream about how he was thinking about changing the engineer's abilities so that you could uh, cast them while moving. Uh, right now you have to stop or you can do your drill smash. So hopefully that gets dialed in and it will make the engineer much, much more fluid uh, as far as general play. Now, when modding the engineer, I believe the best in slot mods you're going to want to have is healthy AP, swap AP. So you would want to swap from one hero to the engineer and then additionally buff AP. Now, the the deal with the, the buffed AP is the only buff the engineer has is the buff you get after you blow off your heat. So this is going to last 10 seconds, which means you want to cycle through generate as much heat as you can and then blast it off again as soon as you see that buff disappear up under your nameplate up top. So that is a buff and it will count towards um, any sort of buff chips. So you're going to want to make sure to take advantage of the buffs as well. Uh, that's going to give you the most um, AP available and I believe that will probably be a fine tuned build. Even though I may never fine tune the engineer as we all know I'm a monk junkie. Um, that will be the best in slot. So uh, healthy AP, swap AP, and buff AP is what you're going to want to do. Uh, as far as weapons go, without a doubt, you'd want to go focused AP. Uh, the other two mods, I think there's some room to play with. Uh, you could work on your crit damage. Uh, you could use that new healthy uh, crit mod in the weapon, which would be quite beneficial. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to get some nice, nice results. Uh, I know some folks with a more fine-tuned engineer uh, with focus AP and everything jacked up are hitting some big, big numbers with their drill smash. You see that one was 134 million non-crit, so not too shabby there. See if we can load one up here. Let's see. Let's throw, uh, well, let's blow the heat off. Then let's throw this over here. We'll throw that there. We'll drago, and then we'll drill smash. 453 million uh, on a crit on that one. So not exactly terrible considering this is just a thrown together set of gear. You can definitely get a big nuke out of the engineer and it may be worth checking out for lots of you all. Um, the Once again, the TLDW, the engineer's defenses are so, so good. So the engineer is way, way worth, uh, without a doubt, adding to your arsenal. Um, Right now, kind of an instant meta is the Magnetic Night Tower. Uh, additionally, the Railgun does pretty darn well. Uh, the Sentry Turret is nice and cheap. Also has an AoE shard that uh, converts it from single target to AoE damage. So no shortage of quality choices. And then if you're a big trap fan, don't forget you got that EMP trap as well, which is going to give you big, big damage like an explosive trap would but it's also going to include a stun. So, yep, the engineer is definitely grade A. It's one you're going to want to check out, and um, without a doubt, add it to your arsenal in Dungeon Defenders 2. That will do it for now. If you got any questions or comments or anything else you would want to add, uh, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.